This video is brought to you by Bridge Gap. Daily case studies, practice questions, and more, to help you switch to digital career profiles. And now, here is the case study of the day. The current pandemic has uh, really resulted in an increase in the number of uh, freelancing jobs. And uh, for freelancers, that's good news. But hey, uh, the, the point is, how do you actually decide uh, which jobs to go after? And I've, you know, from personal experience, uh, I know that a lot of people uh, start off in their freelancing uh, journey. But what, uh, you know, what happens is that they kind of go towards the wrong kind of jobs say, and uh, they get demotivated uh, when it doesn't happen for them. So right in the beginning, you should have a very good handle on uh, which jobs you should go after right uh, so that's that's what this uh, today's case study is about now before we get into that uh, let's uh, look at you know any freelancing platform you know uh, upwork.com freelance.com what are the main kinds of seo uh, freelancing jobs uh, at, which are up for grabs so one uh, would be uh, the end to end uh, seo uh, prof jobs, you know, so this is for example, if this is a small e-commerce site and if they're looking at uh, uh, outsourcing end-to-end uh, -end, which is doing the audit, implementing the tags on pages which are not, uh, you know, which is not done properly, you know, doing content end-to-end. -to -end. So that's that's one bit. Uh, the second is where it's very clear that uh, they're just looking at content writing because increasingly, uh, you know, in the long term, uh, SEO ends up being uh, developing the right content for a certain kind of uh, search intent, right? Uh, so that's the second. Uh, in fact, in content writing, what is they, they could be very specialized content writing tasks. So, for example, content writing for for Wikipedia, which is a completely different uh, kind of a uh, you know task as compared to others, or. Um, you could look at uh, so that's that's on the content writing. Uh, then there would be uh, the backlinking tasks, you know, which uh, you know it might uh, 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 you know uh, it might surprise you that so much of backlinking tasks uh, are, are still there. But uh, the fact is, uh, it, it, is it is still happening. Although uh, honestly, it's uh, you know unless you do the right kind of uh, backlinking, it really it, today it does not matter that much, right? So it's it's. Anyways, that's that's a completely different case study uh, video. So, so these these are actually the different kinds of um, uh, kinds of uh, job opportunities on freelancing platforms. Now, there is uh, now getting down to the what you know what the main uh, what I wanted to basically uh, communicate uh, in in this particular video is that uh, there is one. You know, there's this there's a very important thing when you decide whether or no to go after a certain uh, freelancing opportunity and it is this uh, now let's take one example of of this one right this particular uh, uh, freelancing opportunity which says wanting to do SEO for products we're selling on the Shopify e-commerce site now you can you can see that it is just one single line right and you'll find loads of such opportunities on freelancing platforms uh, where there is no mention about uh, the scope in detail uh, there is no mention about the website which is being discussed uh, there is no mention about the qualifications and the kind of previous experience uh, that will make you a good fit right because uh, ultimately you know uh, and SEO is notorious for that by the way that uh, it, it, the SEO is notorious, notorious for short lived assignments so you know you you, you have to uh, if you are a good client then you you will go that extra mile and tell uh, uh, you know tell the other side that hey this is this is what it takes is going to take so that you know uh, do you have it because then we can have work out something in the long term right so you know it, it, this job is just fails on all these uh, this this requirement really fails on all on all these fronts, and hence it is not a good uh, requirement to go after, right? So I'll show you a good example of of now. If you see this, this example, so you can see that uh, in the in in the first para he is talking about the specifically the kind of content that that he's looking at. So he's looking at uh, you know he, he's saying that you should have experience uh, for b2b space you know startups agencies and uh, he's he's uh, looking at uh, he's asking you asking for some samples of work right asking for uh, uh, you know saying that you need to be excellent in, in grammar you're saying that uh, you have to uh, 
you know you need not be very seo focused you you just have to have a basic idea of seo so that means you know in such cases the someone from the client side uh, has a good knowledge of seo so you can see that there is enough effort uh, in there's enough uh, uh, time and attention given to those two things one is what is the scope right? what is what is this all about you know and second is what are the qualifications that need that you need to have what is the kind of previous experience that you need to have so that this can be a long term kind of a uh, uh, assignment right so that's that's i think the number one uh, and that that's the biggest uh, you know biggest uh, tool when it comes to choosing uh, assignments on freelancing platforms uh now now that you understand right and i've i've uh, told you what is the biggest tool now i think you would have guessed uh, the case study task of the day yes uh, it is to actually go to upwork.com which is one of the world's biggest freelancing platform and choose five good uh, jobs which you would go after uh, if you had to uh, if you had to start your freelancing journey right so if you have to if like like right now if you have to uh, uh, you know choose five jobs which you would apply to so that you can uh, approach them send them a proposal and you know start really start your freelancing journey then which of these uh, which of the jobs would you go after that's really the uh, task of today thank you